PTF and JK back with you previewing grade one action at Saratoga on the weekend. The four star Dave, one of the uh, signature races of the meet, at least when it comes to turf racing, maybe not quite at that Whitney Travers level, but it's exciting. And this Saturday is built around it. Some exciting horses in competition, Jonathan. Let's start with one who has Breeders' Cup form in the form of Master of the Seas. Is this a horse who uh, everybody else is running for second if he uh, fires his best shot? Well, look, I mean, he's pretty darn good. I can tell you that much. But, yeah, I mean, he's going to be bet that way. And and for me, uh, although he is a likely winner, a, a horse that definitely won't be beating me in any multi-race wagers, I do think that there's some other ideas in here that are a little bit more interesting, a little bit more creative than uh, the easy kind of appeared layup of Master of the Seas. He's the best horse, but he does come in here off a little bit of a break. He hasn't run in 120 days. So he has some time off. He's run well with time off before, and maybe that's just the plan with Charlie Appleby with him moving forward. But I wouldn't say he's a foregone conclusion. He has shown at times uh, certain scenarios to be problematic, but we'll, we'll see. I think he's definitely the best horse in here, but I think there's some other horses that are interesting. We both have ideas we'll give at the end of the video of potential uh, upsetters. But let's talk about a horse that I think many might see as the main rival for this one. Another uh, runner in the same colors from the same barn, Ottoman Fleet, this five-year-old last seen uh, going wire to wire in the wise dance stakes. Could, um, could Master of the Seas' key rival be one from his own barn? Well, you'd like to think that uh, there'll be some – possible some team tactics here with Ottoman Fleet. But I kind of like that idea for who I'm actually going to pick. I think Ottoman Fleet will be sent away from there in an aggressive manner to, to make the front, to keep the pace honest for the stable mate Master of Seas. If they go too slow, Ottoman Fleet will go on and do their thing. A lot of a lot of naval, uh, a lot of naval uh, names going on here, Master of the Seas, Ottoman Fleet. But I will say this. I, I question how good that last race was. I thought probably got a little bit too comfortable on the front end, and I don't think that that's, that's the trip that this horse is going to get in here. Not completely against, but I, like I said, I think there's a couple of others that are more interesting. It'll be tested for class. There's a big difference going from a grade two to a grade one. That is for sure. Win and you're in action for the Breeders' Cup Mile in this four-star Dave on Saturday at Saratoga. Let's give a shout out to the sponsors of our video, Winner's Circle Proxy Service. JK, these sports contests uh, at Circa have become, they've gotten more than a cult following. And years ago, you had to be in Vegas every week if you wanted to play Survivor, where you, be, you know, the name says it all. You're just trying to, uh, you're trying to pick a horse that's not going to, horse, a team that's not going to lose and stick through the season, or uh, picking against the spread um, in in the other big contest out there. These days, with the help of Winner's Circle Proxy, you just got to get to Vegas once, and they'll basically take care of the rest. We want you to check out Winner's Circle Proxy dot com slash itm for an opportunity to uh get out there make your appointment tell them that your friends at in the money media sent you speaking of in the money media we encourage you to subscribe to this channel as we continue our march to ten thousand. help us out do that and then uh, click that notification bell so you never miss any of our youtube exclusive content i'll give you my crazy idea first it's not that crazy but my idea in this race is what about more than looks? This is a four-year-old who hasn't run since three, 288 days off, was only beaten two lengths to Master of the Seas uh, in the Breeders' Cup Mile last year. This was one of the talking horses Breeders' Cup week. Looked great. Everyone you talked to said how good more than looks uh, was and uh, ran really well. I mean, uh, not, a, not a bad run at all to come from that position to be beaten only two. Look, it's a, it's a bit of a guess. I understand they were originally looking at a much less ambitious spot that got washed off in the form of the lure. But what about more than looks at a price, Jonathan? Yeah, I mean that's my problem. Uh, the lure. I mean, this, they they obviously knew this race was 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 a week later, and they opted for the easier spot. And the only reason they're running here is because that easier spot was rained off. Uh, it's it's when when there's a plan A and horses end up in a plan B, it's not always something that I, I I'm I'm willing to accept. I, I'm going to look elsewhere. I get it, and I'd need a price, but I just feel like the market could go so crazy over some of these others. We may well get it. We'll see what happens. What I want to keep on the radar. I certainly am going to, like you said, Master of the Seas is not knocking me out of any of my exotic wagers on the day. Who do you like? Who's your pick in this year's Four Star Dave? 
Yeah, it's a home game for Carl Spackler, three for three at Saratoga, but not only three for three at Saratoga, three for three on the inner turf course at Saratoga. I think he likes those turns. He's going to have some pace in front of him with Autumn and Fleet where he can sit off of that horse. I think he's better with a target, but I think he's better forward. So it works out perfectly for me for Carl Spackler. And if you want to win a trivia question, sitting at a bar, maybe try to sneak out a free beer or adult beverage out of someone, you ask them, which grade one race at Saratoga has Chad Brown never won? And most people aren't going to guess. It's the four-star Dave. I think that changes this weekend. I'm going to go with the purple and the green silks of E5 Racing and the four-horse Carl Spackler. It's a compelling case. That inner turf can very much be a horses for courses kind of a track. That will do it for this video on the four-star Dave. Win and you're in action for the Breeders' Cup Mile. For JK, I'm PTF. May you win all your photos.